Welcome back to Maya 2018. Today we are going to continue our conversation with Lattice Deformers. Actually, we're going to just take a look here at the settings here in the Lattice Deformer. So we go into Deform, Lattice, and then we click the little boxy box. And now let's just go down the line here. Divisions you can set up early on, your Lattice Deformation subdivisions, if you will. I like to keep those on default. Local mode, local mode is just specifies the degree of influence of those lattice points on the object. Okay, so that is also in default mode. In fact, we can go to reset savings settings so that you can see that. Uh, and then local divisions will tell you to what extent. Okay, so it specifies that local influence in numerics. Uh, the default is two, and you cannot go any lower than that. Uh, but at the most, what we're seeing here is it will influence it at the most two STU subdivisions. So STU would be the, if you apply this, you can see in the, in the channel box, S divisions, T divisions, U divisions. So that's your, so you can change this before you hit the uh, lattice or afterwards in the channel or attribute editor, local divisions. Now, if you turn that off, uh, the lattice points can have an influence on all of the points within that deformable object. But if you just hike this up, you can uh, essentially accomplish the same thing. All right, positioning. If you turn off positioning, you can, what will happen is that the lattice point even if you select it here, it will show up here dead in the middle. So world middle um, or world center or the workspace origin. So it is what they would call initially free of the lattice's influence, deforming only when it, when it moves into the base lattice's space. Uh, one example that they use even in the Autodesk manual is if you have a ghost going through a keyhole and then comes out uh, as, as its own shape. Uh, so that's when you would use something like that. But as a default, we have positioning to center around the selection. Because most of the time we're trying to deform an object and we need the cage to be around the object or around a specific part of an object. So there's, there's options though, which is very nice here that you can turn that off. The next one is grouping. Uh, this would be a good option so as to consolidate the machinery, which would be the lattice influence, the influence lattice, as well as the base. You can group the base lattice together. So if we do that, we can see, what did I do wrong? What does it say? Number of divisions cannot be less than two. Why was it less than two? I didn't change it. Okay, let's try it again. All right, so there we go. Uh, we've grouped the lattice and base together. You see it right here. It just made a group. You can make a group too as well if you want on your own by just hitting uh, Control G and you could do the same thing there with that. Okay, um, let's see here. If you have parenting, parenting would, would do just that. It makes everything a family. So I select this. Let me do that again. Let me do that again, right there. And then we apply what happened there. Uh, creates a hierarchy. So what we have is, what do we do? Oh, that's why, because the positioning is off. All right. Okay, so let's try that again. We select, and then we just, we're doing parenting. So parenting makes it a family which means even if I just select the object, it, everything is selected. You can see it here in the outliner. It makes it all a family, okay? So when you move it, you cannot move the object without moving with the family. You can't just take off and be some kind of deadbeat object. You gotta stay with your family. All right, so that is not on default. Uh, freeze mode is just that. If you freeze and then apply, then it freezes the object. So the object cannot move, rotate, or scale. So even if I select this, 
notice that I cannot do anything. I cannot rotate and I cannot scale it or any of that. Okay, so it just freezes the mode. Have not seen a an application for this quite yet, but I'm sure I will at some point. All right, let's move into outside lattice. Outside lattice. This will give you a, oh, that was kind of interesting. This will give you a option to transform the, the uh, object itself in different ways. So this is our default, transforms only if it's inside the lattice, which makes sense. Okay, all right, let's, we're not gonna do that anyway, okay. Transform only if you are inside the lattice, okay. The next one is transform all points. So all the object points, no matter where they are, are deformed and influenced by the lattice. Shall we take a look? If I do this, just real quick, and just start deforming this, all right, and I select it, it is transform all points. Actually, we're still in freeze mode, so let me get rid of this particular lattice and apply the I'm just hitting Z here. Okay, now we can apply it. All right, so when I do this into the lattice points, start to deform it. Now I take it out, transform all points, all the objects, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> all the objects, all the object points are deformed and influenced by the lattice. So even when it's outside, it's still feeling that, it's still feeling that influence, okay? So that's another option that you have. All right. Next one, and last one is transform if within fall off. Now notice that the fall off distance will now become available. Now this fall off distance is just the distance from the lattice. Oh, 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 sorry. It's the distance from the lattice where the deformation influence is still in effect, still alive and well. And then it degrades from there. So let's take a look. We're going to take it. We're going <clears> to <throat> deform. We're going to deform. And then now we're going to pull it out. Okay. So it's still deforming with about one, one unit, let's say. And we still got an influence, still got an influence, still not in fall off. And we're good to go. All right. So you see there, even at, that's a one influence. We start to see it. It's a fall off distance. Okay. We could even change this to two and try it again. and it's gonna be even further out, right? <clears throat> so we can, you see the influence is even further out too, okay? So that's what that is, the outside lattice. Transform if within a fall off. All right, so we'll go back. Always you can go back and reset your settings and you're good to go. The other, only other thing is advanced, which is deformation order. It's a bit more complex, but we've touched on it a little bit with nonlinear deformers. Gets into the placement order of operations of the deformer node, which, you know, as we know, Maya is all about node architecture, which we will all obviously get into more with respect to the hypergraphs. Um, and uh, we won't discuss this too much, but it's, it's the deformation order before is the default, actually. So that's what they use as a before after split parallel. And you can get into this more of an explanation in the actual Maya uh, manual. But for the purposes of today's lesson, we were just going through the basics because we are Maya 2018 basics. Of course, we'll probably get into more advanced things as we move forward. But that will do it for today. Lattice deformer. Loving it and have a beautiful day.